you gotta fight for your right to repair. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato, your host, Webmaster DJ, and so much more from MediaMonarchy.com with another look at some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories for the week of June 19th, 2017. It is the first official week of summer solstice, still just about 36 hours away, but we're coming to you nearly as always from our growing urban balcony garden. Got some marigolds popping, we got some scallions, got some lettuce, and a few more things going on, and even a couple of words about garlic on this episode of Good News Next Week. I think it's episode 52, and I hope you're doing well and safe and sound wherever you are. And I got good news on a deep programming note about the media monarchy kingdom coming up at the end of this episode. Our first story via activist post, homeless men are reintegrating through urban beekeeping. A really interesting story out of Montreal, and there's also coverage from the CBC and the Good News Network, and of course everything we say and play will always be included down in the show notes, so you can extrapolate and expand on these brief ex explanations I give you, and of course just get the stories and do more research for yourself. Basically a facility in Montreal has been teaching people how to become urban beekeepers, and not only has it given them a greater sense of sort of well-being and stability, but it's also given them a, a real life function in life to go out and get a job and, and integrate in society and be a regular normal person, right? And doing it through a fantastic way, a very grounding thing, like being a beekeeper. Buddy Steven out in Oklahoma will always say, support your local beekeeper. And just as we talk about on these episodes a lot, probably it's very healthy as well for them to be out and have their hands in the soil that we talk about so many times. Now I know you're not putting your hands in the dirt with bees, but again, it's that being in nature naturally makes you feel better, like we've talked about recently on these episodes. Second main story that we want to talk about this week comes to us from longtime supporter and friend of the kingdom, Ray Vahi. He is on the tweets at Ray Vahi. We talked to him not only about he helped invent BitChute, that we wonder if it might be a fantastic YouTube killer, a peer-to-peer platform, bitshoot.com slash channel slash media monarchy. You can find all of our videos and audios up there as well. The right to repair movement is forcing Apple to change. Basically the slow and steady push of consumers that have been saying, I can't get my phone fixed. I can't get my fondle slab fixed. I can only do it at licensed places and there's not enough of them and they don't do a good enough job. People are pushing for third party repair shops essentially. Apple is folding a little bit, they're giving a bit of lip service, and you can actually even see in this article from Motherboard, a lot of people even say from repair.org, eh, Apple's just kind of making some of the right moves because they know they're getting in trouble soon, and they know they can't really repair all of these things. So all they're trying to do is just open up more official Apple repair shops. We want the power to be able to repair things ourselves. We've talked about those patents where, geez, as soon as you put the screwdriver to the screws, they, they disintegrate just as your warranty does. And as I was thinking about this story, the right to repair movements forcing Apple to change, it, it had me thinking, I was like, wasn't there that story about the farmers who wanted to repair their tractors but were bound that they couldn't due to copyright laws? And indeed, there was that story. It's almost a year ago, actually, as much as time flies, that story was also brought to us by our friend Ray Vahey. These farmers are not allowed to repair their own tractors due to copyright laws. We talked about that on the Food World Order edition of Your Morning Monarchy. If you don't know, I do daily news shows, 9 a.m. in the morning, called The Morning Monarchy. I also do a daily DJ set at noon. I call Pump Up the Volume, and we've essentially, over these last several weeks, launched our own independent feed and stream at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, news and views and music brought to you by you. Our third main story on this Good News Next Week episode comes to us from our friend James Corbett, and you might know him as the person who I co-host New World Next Week with, and that's where this Good News Next Week show spins off from that to look at some of the ways that we are winning in solutions-oriented stories, and we're still talking about machines in the hands of the people who make them and who own them. Australian farmer's weed-destroying invention draws world interest. Basically, a guy invented a seed destructor that helps get rid of 95% of the unwanted weed seeds that are going to ruin some crops. Now, this is going on in Australia, and he's turned to a family-run business to help him build and make these machines which are generating worldwide interest, U.S., South Africa, South America, all over the world. And again, it's a way to decentralize. It's a way to build the devices that we need and share them with each other and not keep them all locked away behind a paywall. 
some of the other headlines we're looking at. Thanks to our friend Sean Cathcart, New Hampshire decriminalization law awaits governor's signature. They are decriminalizing the evil weed over in New Hampshire in the live for your die state. Now essentially what they're doing is making it to where you don't get jail time if you've got reasonable small amounts of cannabis. Doesn't mean you can start selling it or any of that kind of stuff. And of course, the, the devil's in the details and there is still some fine print, but that's a big, good move that you're probably at worst only gonna get a fine kind of written to you. And, and the cops will probably jack your butt, but at least you're not going to jail for it, at least. <laughs> a really dark story that at least fortunately has some kind of silver linings to it over in Michigan. Five officials indicted on manslaughter charges over the Flint water crisis. And I don't think they're stopping there. They might go for involuntary manslaughter charges as well. Again, talked about that situation in Flint on our Morning Monarchy, just as we talked about the water situation here in Portland, just as we've talked about probably the water situation somewhere. Jeez, Apple must have heard me talking smack about them. My fondle slab kept glitching out, and that was even the full take two of your good news next week. So we move back to the indoor studio just to get the last few headlines of some of the ways that we are winning. We're not going to let a little bit of technical difficulties stop me from making this podcast. Local man has first little garlic harvest. I mentioned garlic earlier back out on the balcony, and I'm not doing so well with growing garlic. I'm going to have to ask our friend Morgan Lesko at Wiki World Order because he's got a great looking garlic harvest, and he says it's easy to do it and you can do it too. Hashtag Victory Garden. And hopefully your gardens are starting to look good and grow well as this is the first week of summer and it is getting warm. Our friend Titus Frost over on Steemit noted that a fellow Steemian actually had a $4,000 cancer surgery bill and he didn't know what he was going to do. Fellow Steemians stepped up and his post earned $16,000 as Steemit is a sort of blockchain assisted, listener supported, viewer supported, monetized platform that we are building for ourselves like BitChute, like Steemit, like any of the other number of things that I haven't even figured out or tried out yet. That's what's so fantastic about it. Last deprogramming note for you. I said there was some good news about the MediaMonarchy.com kingdom. We fixed the server. We had some server woes for the last like week and a half, almost two weeks, and there were episodes missing from the archive. I'd been putting them all up on YouTube, and you weren't really hearing any of the Pump Up the Volume episodes unless you were listening live, which I highly recommend. But they are all fixed. They are all uploaded, and a huge thanks to DJ Sumdog and Afix for helping us out and getting under the hood and doing that tech support. That Again, I don't know how to do all this stuff. You don't know how to do all this stuff by yourself. We ask questions. That's how we learn things. And again... We're trying to build our own community in a fear-free fashion. Doesn't look at left or right. We look at ways that we are winning with these Good News Next Week episodes. This is the week of June 19th, and this is Good News Next Week episode 52. I double-checked. It actually is 52 for sure. And I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Again, thanking you so much for watching and listening and taking part and being active and being engaged and reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media. Become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.